The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. A voice from God. These were more noble than those of Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Acts 17 verse 11. To some the word of God is uninteresting. The reason is, they have so long indulged in the bewitching stories to be found in the literature of the present day, that they have no relish for the reading of God's word, or for religious exercises. This reading disqualifies the mind to receive sound Bible principles and to work out practical godliness. When reading the Bible with humble, teachable heart, we are holding intercourse with God Himself. The thoughts expressed, the precepts specified, the doctrines revealed, are a voice from the God of Heaven. The Bible will bear to be studied, and the mind, if not bewitched by Satan, will be attracted and charmed. The light which beams through the Scriptures is light from the eternal throne flashed down to this earth. All who make the Word of God their guide in this life will act from principle. Those who are vacillating, vain, and extravagant in dress, who are gratifying the appetite and following the promptings of the natural heart, will, in obeying the teachings of God's Word, become balanced. They will devote themselves to duty with an energy that never falters, and they will rise from one degree of strength to another. Their characters will be beautiful and fragrant and devoid of selfishness. They will make their way and be acceptable anywhere among those who love the truth and righteousness. The psalmist prayed, Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. The Lord heard him, for how full of assurance are the words. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. And as the Lord heard and answered David, so he will hear and answer us, making our hearts full of gladness and rejoicing.